hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel this is servant here thank you so much for clicking on the video please do not forget to like comment subscribe click notification bell you know the drill and today we are going to be creating the balenciaga hourglass bag you know the beaded version of course so let's get right into the tutorial now these are the three color of be two colors piece of beads I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using black, red, all of them 10 millimeters, a 0.80 fishing line, and a pair of scissors. So go ahead and cut a fishing line that you're comfortable to work with. Then you're going to pick up four red beads and you're going to insert it in one end of your fishing line and you are going to cross like so. Um, with the other fishing line and you're just going to pull the cross bead downward and it's going to give you a circle of four like that so you're going to pick up one um, bead on the left fishing line one bead on the right fishing line and you are going to cross with the third bead so this is the basic way on how to bead a mat so you're going to repeat the same thing pick up one bead on your left fishing line one bead on the right fishing line then you are going to cross with the third bead now we are going to do this until we have 22 beads 22 circle of um four 22 circle of four but i'm going to demonstrate here we need a total of 23 but you're going to do 22 the 23rd circle of four we are going to turn our work with it so I am using the fishing line on my left, which I am going to demonstrate. Sorry, the fishing line on my right. I'm going to use it to demonstrate the turn. So you pick all three beads and insert it into that fishing line on your right. And you're going to cross with the third bead right there. And this is going to turn our work. As you can see, our fishing line is now at the side like so. It is not facing the top. I'm going to zoom in. Okay. Um, so now that our fishing line is facing the sides like so we are going to do another turn and we are going to pick up three beads again with the fishing line facing upwards and we are going to cross with the third bead so know that um when you get to the end of your work you are going to have three turns the first turn is going to complete the first row and the second turn is going to start the second or the next row now we are going to continue working to bead your work you're simply going to insert your fishing line into that bead at the side right there into the next bead at the side right there then on the fishing line on my right i'm going to pick up two beads and i'm going to cross with the second bead right there guys if i am not explaining it properly in a way that you understand please just watch the video you can go to the settings at the top right hand corner and change the playback speed to 0 0.25, 0 0.25, or how slow you want it to be. So I'm just going to insert my fishing line, the one on my left, into the next bead. It's the following bead. Then I'm going to take the fishing line on my right, pick up two beads, and I'm going to cross with the second bead. Yeah, so um, we are almost getting to the end. So here we are. For our last bead, this is what we are going to do. It's going to be a turning bead. Remember that the last bead is always a turning bead. So you're going to insert your fishing line into the last bead right there. I apologize for that. Into the last bead right there. Pull out your fishing line. I had a little tangle here. I tend to work with longer fishing lines so that I don't have too many knots in my work that I need to tie. So you're just going to insert your fishing line into the next bead, the following bead there. Then into that same fishing line, you're going to put two beads into that fishing line facing upwards. You're going to insert two beads and you're going to cross with the um, other fishing line like so. And this is going to cause our fishing line to be at the side like we had before. Our fishing line is going to face the side like so, which, which is the first turn that completes the row that you're currently working on. Then you're going to pick up three beads with the fishing line facing out of your work outwards. And you are going to cross with the other fishing line. And this is going to start, basically start the next row or, and complete the second turn. 
so this is what you are going to continue doing until you have until you have a length of 23 and a width of 15 beads so go ahead and continue counting so the length is 23 and the width is 15 so i'm going to see you guys there so this is what we have so far like i said that is our length that i'm counting is supposed to be 23 and our width is 15. you can go ahead and pause the video yourself to count then we are going to count nine beads at the side and pull it up then nine beads on the other side and pull it up so this is going to be our sides of our back and our base is a five base as you can see those are five beads for our base so i usually call it a five base a two base back a three base back a nine base back that's going to be a very wide back anyway so i just inserted my fishing line into those two beads at the corner there took the fishing line on my right and i crossed with i inserted two black beads and i crossed with the second black bead then i'm just inserting my fishing line into the next bead right there then I picked up two black beads and I crossed with the second black bead. So you can go ahead, if whatever color that you are using for um, your back, you can make all of it to be the same color. But I decided to do black and red for some reason. <laughs> so I just wanted a hint of black in my work. So keep on doing this, inserting your fishing line into the next bead. Then with the other fishing line, pick up two beads two black beads then you cross with the second the second bead yeah so this is me i just slowed it down a little bit so you guys can see i'm just crossing with the second bead right there i always love work with long fishing line guys i don't joke so when you get to the corner or the end like this you do the same thing that you did at the beginning the fishing line on your left is going to go to through the um one bead which is at the base then the bottom bead which is at the side so that fishing line is going to go through those two beads which is the same thing that we did basically in the beginning and that is already three beads that we have our fishing line connect connected to so we need a ring of four so to complete that we're just going to pick up one black bead and we are going to cross with that um bead so we're going to cross with that one black bead like so and row number one of our sides is done that's how it's looking then you're going to take your fishing line on your right and insert it into the next bead right there then you are going to take your fishing line i'm sorry i keep on saying fishing line then insert two black beads like so then you are going to cross with the other fishing line and basically you're going to repeat step one all over again so you're going to repeat it until you get to the top of your back so go ahead and work up the sides like so i usually work with my um work facing my right like the fishing line which is supposed to enter the bead or follow enter the following bead i usually have it on my dominant hand which is my right hand because I find it easy to control the direction that the fishing line is supposed to go. But that's just me. So you guys can do whatever you want. Okay, so you're just going to continue doing this until you get to the top. And you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side as well. So we are done with the two sides. And as you can see, I have already folded in or cinched in the one side of the um, back like so it needs a lot of cinching so take note if you were to do a regular bag you're just going to press in or press in just the middle part of that bag like this you're just going to press in the middle pack and you're going to cinch in like this and it's going to be fine if you're doing a normal bag but when you're doing the balenciaga eyeglass bag you're going to start from one of the red side this is one of the reasons why i did this in both colors so um we are going to take one end from the red side of our back so as you can see our side is five 
but we are going to grab one from each red side so it's going to be six seven so we have a seven for the corner then please guys take note of where i insert my fishing line to do this cinching process not there don't insert your fishing line into the first red bead that you see you insert your fishing line into the second red bead right there so insert your fishing line right there um the fishing line which is facing upwards you're just going to go ahead and pick up one bead i decided to pick black then you are going to insert your fishing line into the second black bead of the red side over there so i'm just going to press it so make sure that your fishing line is in the right place so i just inserted my fishing line into the second bead second red bead of that row right there like so and i'm going to flatten that edge then i'm going to pull it so that we can see how our work looks like as you can see i'm trying to press everything down then you're going to pick up one black bead and you're not going to cross or you could cross but we are going to actually tie so i just want to pull it cross and pull it so that you guys can see because this is all the bead that we need to finish the, the bead that we need okay this is all the beads <laughs> that we need to cinch in this side that is basically it just two beads is completely fine to cinch in the sides yeah so like i said instead of, of crossing i was just going to tie it directly by the way guys if you want to know or see in depth on how to properly and your fishing line if your fishing line is too short you want to probably um properly end your work like tie your fishing line how to tuck in the excess fishing line how to cut it i have a tutorial like that on my channel and i'm going to link it look how cinch in that thing is tell me in the comment section that does not look like the shape of the balenciaga uh, glass bag tell me that in the comment section because i know it does i know it does look like that okay so go ahead and tuck in your fishing line. If you don't know how to do that, please make sure you watch that tutorial. Yeah. By the way, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We do only beaded tutorials or anything beads on this channel. And please make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section. If you're new, give me a red and a black heart if you're new. And to all my old subscribers, thank you guys so much for continuing with me on my journey i know i've been slacking a little bit but guys i am i am back i am back okay life just got in the way you know it happens so yeah so you're just going to tuck in your um i was about to say yarn i'm a crocheter by the way so i always get confused with this term sometimes you're just going to tuck in your yarn cut it off and look at that look at that now if you want to make sure that you have cinched in your back properly you're just going to count the beads at the side like so you're going to count three at the sides one in the middle and three at the sides again so you have a total of seven beads that needs to show that they are cinched in so we have a total of seven beads on each side so we have that very middle bead showing right there and guys if you're using 10 millimeters um sugar beads uh, trust me your phone can enter the i don't care how big your phone is your phone is going to enter this bag don't think it is too small okay now we want that curved shape at the bottom of our bag so we are going to cinch in the bottom as well so you are going to count until you get to the middle part of your bag where is left three beads in the middle and you are going to insert yeah i'm just inserting a straight fishing line as a mark for the end that is a very short fishing line guys do not we do not throw fishing line here okay we don't throw away fishing line then i am going to take the real fishing line that i'm going to use insert it into the first of the third of the three beads first of the three beads then i'm going to match it to the other side of the first of the three beads on the other end so go ahead and count it like you see me do then insert your fishing line right there so this entire bag look to have this entire bag you need to be prepared to cinch you need to be prepared to pull your yarn so it can be nice and firm this bag is just too classy to not make so go ahead and make this please if you make anything or anything 
updated on my channel please just tag me on instagram i always try to post um my subscribers creations and follow me on my social media by the way i always try to post my subscribers creations um on my youtube story sorry yeah on my youtube shorts i either post it on my youtube shorts yeah so please if you make it make sure you um send me a dm and the picture yeah so this is it we're past we're just cinching it everything insert your two fishing lines into the next onto the second bead take one um bead and cross and that is basically it we have um so this is the last one that we are going through right now as you can see the tip of my fishing line was already too bent it was misbehaving and i had to go through many tries to get it but it's part of being a beader okay sometimes a fishing line don't want to go where you want it to go it needs that if you use either a scissor or a needle to pull it out so much stubborn like that yeah so i just finished the last one right there then i am just going to tie everything down whenever i am finishing the last of any bead i do not cross i just tie it down immediately yeah um you guys are not prepared to see the actual shape of this bag it looks exactly like the balenciaga bag and i know you know it you guys know it you guys know it so I just had to cut off that excess fishing line. I cut it off in a slanted sort of manner so that it can easily enter the beads. Look at that shape. Look at that shape, guys. That is the hourglass shape that we were going in for. Yeah. So we're just going to tuck in our fishing line. All the excess fishing line. Then we are going to cut it off. Cut off all the excess fishing line. The fishing line we don't need. This is how our bag is looking like so far. Look how cute she is looking. Now we are going to do the lid of our bag. So the lid is just counting nine beads. Like so. The bag, the lid of the bag is nine beads. You know, connecting it from the back to the front. You're going to pick up nine beads. Then you, you're going to choose nine beads, I mean. So you're going to work... You know, like we normally do. Now the fishing line is there. You're going to pick up three beads. Then you are going to cross with the third bead. Insert your fishing line into the next bead. Right there. Into the into the next bead at the side. So now we are just crossing with the third bead first. I don't know why I'm trying to go too fast. Guys, please make sure you leave me a comment down in the comment section. Tell me what you think. I always reply to your comments. I do. I really do. I don't care what is how many years into the future that you're seeing this tutorial. Leave me down. Leave me a comment down there. Leave me a comment down there. So I'm just inserting my fishing line into the next bead right there. Then I am picking up two beads. Then I am going to cross, and I'm going to continue doing this until we have a length of seven, seven beads, seven beads for the lid. This is it here. And I already inserted the magnetic lock. I'm going to insert the tutorial of how to firmly attach a magnetic lock to your beaded bag. Because that tutorial is so good, so easy to do. You're going to be doing this on all your beaded bags in no time. Look how cute she's looking already. She's looking so nice. And the next thing we're going to do is to make the handle of our bag. For a handle, I did a 16 by 3 handle in black. That we are going to attach it to our bag so now i'm just going to join the handle together actually so this is 16 by 3 we are going to join it together so it comes out to be a tube so if you want to make any handle whatsoever make sure you make a mat of however long you want it but the side should be by three okay so i'm just inserting my fish line to the first bead pick up one bead i decide to join it with red then we crossed with the red bead right there. Yeah. So you're going to insert your fishing line again into the next bead on the right, into the next bead on the left. Then you are going to cross with the next red bead. So go ahead and do this until you get to the end of your work. Go ahead and you could even press it inside like so, so that you can see how it is looking already. 
So go ahead and finish up. Now it is time to attach our handle. Now, depending on how you want your bag to look like, you could, you are going to go to the second row of your lid and do the attachment there. And depending on how you want your handle to look like, you could attach it on the first bead at the side or the second bead at the side, okay? Whichever one works, okay? So I decided to attach mine to, as you can, in this tutorial, I did mine, I attached mine to the second bead at the side. You know, the second, the second circle of four from the side, but I changed it up later on to the, um, first circle because i find that i wow i found out that i preferred it that way so i just inserted my fishing line into the back bead right there picked up one bead and now i'm going to insert it into the back bead the place that i've chosen as a back bead for the handle i'm going to insert my fishing line right there as you can see if it's at the back bead you're going to insert it at the back bead of the um of the handle as well so i wanted the red part to show at the top that's why you see me i am really trying to place it um so that it's going to be proper then i am going to pick up one red bead i'm going to pick up one red bead and i'm going to cross so this is how you attach the handle you're going to cross like so then you're going to insert your fishing line into the next bead right there into the second, you know, since we're working in that circle of four, we're going to insert into the second bead right there. Um, yeah, you see me, I picked up one bead that was an error. I was not supposed to pick up any bead. I don't know what I was thinking, but I did not want to cut this off for you guys. You guys should actually see that we make mistakes while we work. So if I cross that together as you can see we have five beads at the corner instead of four we had five beads at that corner instead of four do you guys see so that is why i had to remove it <clears throat> um remove that bead there again then take the fishing line and insert it into the red bead there then just cross so you don't need to add another bead you're just adding one bead at the point where you need to cross so that is when you need to add one bead i'm sure i was very tired at this point and i was like let me just get this done let me get this done quickly yeah so you're just going to move around like this until you get to back to where you started i had to find my scissors to pull out that fishing line that was being a menace yeah so i had to do it again obviously because they don't pay attention. Yeah, so um, I just inserted my fishing line into the two beads again. Then I crossed with one bead. Like so. Then we, we were already at the end. All I needed to do was to link up, um, link up the um, other side. Then make sure all the fishing line... We're on one place, all the fishing lines, please. We're on one place, then I just had to tie everything together. So everything that I've done here, you just need to repeat the same thing to attach the handle on the other side. So go ahead and repeat the same thing. And you're going to have your bag, beautiful, easy, fast bag. This bag, even though it has a lot of pulling, and a lot of cinching in and a lot of parts and i i kid you not this is one cute bag to hold okay and please if you want to purchase anything beaded from me please make sure you go to my instagram and dm me from there my instagram is for my crochet and beaded business so if you want to check out my crochet channel i'm going to leave the link down in the description box as well yeah, so I'm just going to attach it on this other side the same way. And we are going to be done with our bag. This is how our bag is going to be looking like. Seeing her looking nice and cute. I was trying to make a cute video and the wind was not going was not allowing me. But this is how our bag is looking like nice and cute. Guys, please tell me what you think down in the comment section. Please leave me a like if you like the video. Please do not forget to share this video to someone who you might think will like it or like to recreate it. 
yeah so i'll see you guys in my next video bye